here at Robbins Stadium on the campus of the University of Richmond. Huge one today. The fourth ranked Villanova Wildcats and the 13th ranked Spiders from the University of Richmond. That time it's quarterback power. Rocco to put it in the air for the first time. He looks for Diggs. And Reggie Diggs drags a tackler inside the Villanova 35 yard line. Ball that time it's a run to the right because the right hand is how he carries it. Converted a fourth down and now a penalty flag flies. A double reverse, they want to throw it. Down the field for Gullias and the pass is intercepted. Ayo Aguni on the trick play. The pass was thrown by Chris Poloni, who's the backup quarterback. You better cover this and not give John Robertson great field position. This is John Hinchin. Beg your pardon, DJ Helkowski right to midfield. Fair catch, and Livers fumbled it. Poppy Livers put it on the ground. Richmond has the football. Looked like Omar Howard was the man who disrupted it. Yeah, Porter Abel is their Wildcat guy, a redshirt freshman. He lost three. Rocco to the air, far sideline. Wow, what great coverage. That's an interception for Jason Senius. Averaging 38 yards per punt this season is the sophomore Hinchin. Miller waiting for this one. Fair catch call. And that's a problem. Looking up into the raindrops, Hinchin muffed it. Villanova's on the football. Ball is dead where it was touched. Picked up by Rob Roll. Because it was a muff, they can't return that, but Villanova will have possession. It's third and goal, and Robertson is in the shotgun. Manangai standing to his right. Robertson to put it into the air, and he's picked off at the goal line. Eric Wright. Recap, a missed field goal, four turnovers. No points. Rocco's going deep. Down the middle of the field, Brian Brown. At the 29 of Villanova, what a catch. The line here. Third and goal, he had a problem with the snap. That ball was loose, Rocco. Trying to get back on top of the football. Villanova is screaming that they have the ball. They're going to have to unpile a lot of bodies. My goodness, in a I, mistake filled quarter, this is incredible that we might have another one. And Villanova got it. They did. The fifth turnover in the first quarter combined. He did gain a yard. It's third and four. Villanova has yet to convert a third down. Until now. The pass over the middle is caught by Medley, and the tailback Medley is near the 30-yard line. A touch pass from Robertson, a 21-yard gain. Weiler, this is Weiler for only his second field goal attempt of the season. 0 for 1 on the year. There's first, and we have points. On our way to 30. Here we go. Finally, huh? Yes, very much so. Third and goal trying to take advantage of the punting mistake, and Rocco's in trouble. Rocco goes down in the arms of Dylan Lucas. They pushed him back almost 15 yards from where the drive started, and now Pete Yoder, who's 0 for 2, will try to tie the game. Yoder, he's got it, and Richmond is finally on the scoreboard. So it, you, you just got to hope the guy knows the playbook and can get the job done protection-wise and call-wise. First and 10 for Robertson. Time in the pocket, takes a shot for Livers down the middle. And Poppy Livers is inside the 25 of Richmond. This has been one of Villanova's best drives of the game. Can they culminate it and find the end zone? Third and goal at the five. Robertson back to the left, throws for the end zone. Collins has the touchdown. He got his hands underneath the football. Lincoln Collins and Villanova scores. Villanova in the end zone, 26th touchdown pass from Robertson this season. And how about that? They just missed the extra point. For the Spiders signal caller. Second and 10 for Rocco. And again, they'll try the middle, and he's got Rashad Ponder for another big gain. Ponder's inside the 25 of Villanova. A 21-yard play. Joey Harmon made the tackle for the Wildcats. Together. But for Villanova, a lot of it really came on the one play to Livers downfield off play action. First and goal, 15 yards out. And Rocco tucks it. Rocco with room. Michael Rocco 
into the end zone for the touchdown. The redshirt senior powering his way in from 15 yards out. To spring Rocco towards the end zone and great second effort by Rocco to get across the goal line. And now Yoder can give Richmond the lead if he makes the extra point, which he does. Remember, Weiler missed his. But he got two tight ends that are 250 and 261. Extra protection. Third down and goal hit as he throws, and that's up for grabs. A huge turnover for the Villanova Wildcats. It's Don Cherry. And I think if Villanova had another timeout here, they would have called it, but they don't. They only have one, and they got to keep it to set it up if they get in field goal range. Biggest play of the game is fourth and five. Robertson is back. Robertson down the middle, and he missed Mike Burke. No flags on the field, and Richmond will take over with 2.35 left. On that play and, clock. And this is the game of first down ends it effectively. Third and one, no timeouts, Villanova. Rocco to Fisher. Richmond seals it. Seth Fisher on third and one is going to put this crowd into a frenzy. And this should end Villanova's seven game winning streak. That's pretty impressive. That's it. Rocco's final kneel down, there's his uncle and head coach Danny, who is now 8-0 in November since coming to Richmond. He owns this month. Andy Talley in his 30th season as the head coach at Villanova, and this loss is going to sting.